As we look deeper into the universe and expand our knowledge of its motion, we've come to realize that single suns are more the exception than the rule. Roughly half of the stars you find in the universe are alone and the other half uh, are in groups and often the groups consist of two and uh, if that is a group of two then we talk about uh, binary stars. But it can also be three, four, five, uh, there's no limit on that. Binary is that it seems to be the, the common observation in the cosmos now. Most of them are actually binary systems. With so many binaries in the heavens, why wouldn't our sun have a partner? Then again, if it did, wouldn't we be able to see it by now? With our high-tech observatories or the Hubble Space Telescope? While there might not be a visible companion, it doesn't mean one's not there. Some stars can't be seen at all, such as black holes or old neutron stars. And others, like brown dwarfs, are barely detectable. Also, the long orbit period of 24,000 years will make the connection of our sun to a binary partner extremely difficult to detect. One sign we'd expect to see would be the changes in the sun's rate of movement. In a binary system, orbital speed is not constant, and theorists say it would cause changes in the precession rate. As soon as two celestial bodies orbit each other, according to Kepler's laws, you have elliptical orbits. And if you have that, you have where when the bodies are closer to each other, they tend to be faster, and then as the other object moves further away, it gets slower and in again. If the current rate of speed were constant, a complete binary cycle would take almost 26,000 years. But scientists have confirmed that the rate of precession is increasing. In a binary system, this would mean that two stars are moving closer together. 